Welcome back, my name is Brian Masucci and we're here with another episode of Cooking with Cannabis uh, here with Jeff the 420 Chef. Thank you for having me. Thanks for coming on. So uh, what do you have for us today? Well, just in time for the holidays, we're gonna be making an infused eggnog. Oh, great, yeah, that sounds good. Uh, before we get started though, is what is an F ETF? Sure, yeah, so I get this question a lot. ETFs are basically a, uh, a fund around a strategy of uh, publicly traded securities. Uh, we have one, tickers MJ, trades on the New York Stock Exchange. Maybe that starts, it probably stands for Mary J. Stands for the ticker of our fund, MJ. <laughs> and uh, it trades on the, the New York Stock Exchange, but yes, it does in encapsulate what the theme is, which is publicly traded cannabis, global publicly traded companies that we hold inside of the fund. So when you buy MJ, you're actually owning bits and pieces of all of these publicly traded companies from around the world. You can actually go into the fund's prospectus for all of you finance nerds out there that want to read a prospectus. Um, take a look at, at the rules behind the fund that actually shows what kind of companies can be in the fund. That's pretty awesome. That's, that's very, very cool. Yeah, so it makes it a little bit um, a, a little bit easier instead of trying to pick the one winner, which mm -hmm. we've seen especially in cannabis over the past couple of years, some skyrocket up, some not have such great days as the industry kind of figures itself out. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have to pick the winner. You can pick the industry to invest in. And that's exactly what we do with MJ is, is we allow the, the you as the individual investor to go to your Robinhood or your E-Trade account and, and buy a collection of cannabis. All right, well, that's awesome. Uh, so let's get cooking. Sounds All great, right. let's so do this that. This should be a lot of fun. So in order to make an eggnog, classic eggnog, you're going to need egg yolks. We've got um, six beautiful dark egg yolks in here. I like using dark egg yolks. Um, pure cane sugar, we don't like to use white sugar. We've got vanilla. Um, we've got some milk here. At the end, we're gonna add some cream to it as well. I've got cloves, I've got cinnamon, I've got a little thing of nutmeg here, which is exciting. Some can of butter or hemp butter. So you could actually use hemp butter, which is chock full of CBD, mm -hmm. or can of butter, which is chock full of THC for the recipe. And since I always like a little tasted alcohol, but not the alcohol in the recipe, sure. Um, we've got a little bit of bourbon here. The reason I pick bourbon instead of rum, a lot of people like rum, okay? It's very um, standard, mm -hmm. right? This bourbon here, especially Four Roses, I love this. It's got a really um, spicy, kind of like a caramelly, you know, oak taste to it. Sure, sure. So by burning out the alcohol, we're not putting alcohol in, right? Because we're putting cannabis in to mm -hmm. get that really nice inebriated feeling. But we're going to have still the taste of the bourbon and the Four Roses. Great. Right? Sounds so good. Here's the fun part. What we like to do is we just take a little bit of this bourbon here, pour it into the pot, and then we're going to add in couple cinnamon sticks and a little clove. So these are actually whole cloves. Okay. Okay, so you just put some whole cloves in here. Okay. But I also want to get that flavor in there and I really don't want to cook it, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a little more exciting. <laughs> and we are going to sort of cook it, but basically just burn out the alcohol. And at the same time, it's going to toast the cinnamon sticks and the cloves. Exciting. You see you've got your cinnamon sticks and cloves in there. Mm -hmm. All right. We're going to take a lighter here. Let's move this here to the side. Sure. All right. Let's just light this up in here without getting burnt. Easier there said than go. done sometimes. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that actually, but it's actually a beautiful blue flame. Okay, we're gonna let the alcohol burn off while it toasts the cloves and everything else. In the meantime, what I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you just take that sugar, put it into the egg yolks, and just start whisking that up and mixing that. Okay, great. And then I start smelling really good in a second. It starts smelling toasted cinnamon and toasted cloves. Oh, lovely. Let's stir it up a little bit here. What, uh, what kind of consistency am I looking for in the eggs? Um, you want to make sure that the sugar is incorporated into the eggs. You don't want to put okay. too many bubbles into it, so kind of do it slowly. Ah, okay. okay. <laughs> All right, so now the fire has gone out because the alcohol has burned off. Okay. Right? But you notice inside here, there is a tiny little bit of that bourbon left. Okay, yeah. Okay. You can smell it too. It smells yeah, delicious. Yeah, you've got the cinnamon sticks and the cloves. Now the next thing we're going to do is we put this on a low heat. Mm -hmm. And we're basically going to just add the milk in there, okay? And stir around the milk a little bit. At the same time, we're gonna add some of the can of butter. If it's nice and hot, it will melt out the can of butter. Okay, now that's two tablespoons of can of butter. You notice here, um, there's little ridges. Yep. So this is a special mold that we have where we make the can of butter. And I know that oh. each tablespoon here is going to be 15 milligrams. 
Okay. okay. So uh, so now we know that there's 30, there's 30 milligrams of THC in this recipe. Okay. okay? So we're going to just mix this up. Let's just cook a little bit. And then once it gets hot enough, we're going to start using it to temper the eggs. Okay. Tempering the eggs is basically we're taking this really um, warm milk and putting it into the eggs. But you know that if you put something too hot into eggs, right, they start to cook. Start to cook it, yeah, for sure. You don't want sure. to have a hard-boiled eggnog. Sure. Right? You really want to have it Change nice and creamy. taste just a little bit. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You don't want any gummy chewies in there or whatnot, okay? So, you know, as this, um, you know, continues to cook off and... You know, I'll just you know bring out all those really delicious flavors of the cinnamon mm -hmm. and the clove in here. Um, then we'll start to mix it in with that. Once we've mixed it all together in there, then we put it back in the pot, and then we're going to bring it to a 160 degree boil. Okay. Not even boil to 160 degrees, right? Um, the reason why we bring it to 160 degrees is because we're working with egg yolks. Sure. Salmonella is killed off at 160 degrees. So I think we're just about done here with this. We can start tempering the eggs. Perfect. Now, the way we're going to temper the eggs is really simple. First, let's just take out these uh, cinnamon sticks. Okay. Get anything that's settled to the bottom mixed in again. Okay. Take out some of the cloves here. Just want to make it as, as nice and clean as possible. And we're going to use this to kind of strain it anyway. All right, now let's put a little bit in here. And keep mixing as I do oh, this. Oh, sure. To the make teamwork. sure that, yeah, there you go. See that? So you want to cook the eggs. So as you know, it's a nice hot milk, but Keep going, there you go. Let's put some more in there, okay. Some more here. There we go, keep mixing, keep mixing. There you go, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, okay. Now let's see how that looks. Oh wow, okay, I'm gonna, I don't know if anybody can see this here, but let's take a look at this here. Okay, now we put it inside the bowl here, and we're gonna bring it up to 160 degrees. Now the most important thing to do, obviously, is you need to put a thermometer on here. All right, so put a thermometer right here, and you wanna, you wanna make sure that the thermometer does not touch the bottom of the pot, okay? So we're gonna bring this up, and we'll watch the thermometer, and it should take about you know five to seven minutes or so, bring it up to 160, and then Great. we'll put it into the ice bath, and we're gonna enjoy it. Okay, so we're at about 160 degrees. One thing you have to keep in mind also is that if you're going to use the alcohol trick that I taught, that I just showed you, yeah. you have to make sure that you burn off all the alcohol. Because okay. if you don't burn off all the alcohol, the alcohol heats up very quickly, faster than the egg yolks will, and ultimately the alcohol will end up cooking your eggs, and you're gonna have like, Breakfast in your glass? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, you it's, know pretty gross, it's pretty gross. <laughs> so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this, we're going to put it into this bowl here, and we're going to stick this bowl into an ice bath, which we've got right down here. A strain. Okay, and Brian, you've got that strainer there. So here we're going to go. So let's just take this here. We're going to strain it into the ice bath. The reason we're straining is because we have some cinnamon sticks here, and we have some cloves and all that other good stuff. Right? Yes. Yeah. And we're actually going to mix it with whipped cream in a second. So perfect. Just get that in there. Well, cream goes great with everything. See how beautiful that is? Oh yeah, it's a perfect I don't know if color. You guys can see that over there, but let me just show you. <laughs> yeah, I hope I don't spill it out. Okay, good enough. Put this in the ice bath here. Now while it's in here, we'll take a little bit of vanilla. Great. Okay, I want you to just pour in what you think you want to put in it. So I'm gonna say literally, like, imagine a teaspoon. Imagine a teaspoon, okay. There you go. So a little bit like pop. Yeah, there you go, perfect. There we go. All right, now just like mix that up. Great. No air bubbles this time, too? No air bubbles. <laughs> okay, now we're going to take this measuring cup from before. We're going to add some heavy cream into it. So it's going to be one cup. So it's one cup of milk, one cup heavy cream. Super simple. Oh, great. Uh, six eggs. Okay. And let's just pour Smells that in great. slowly as you do that. There we go. Another team building exercise to do go. with the family at home. It's a lot of fun, yeah. <laughs> All right, so you keep doing that. We're gonna let it sit in the ice bath for about an hour so it gets nice and cool. And we'll be back and show you how to garnish it and uh, enjoy it. I gotta do this for an hour? A whole hour. Oh man. All right. Farm field. Oh, I'm exhausted. <laughs>
By the way, at home, you don't have to stir it for an hour. I was just having a good time with Brian here. You literally just have to leave it in the ice bath for an hour, stir a little bit here and there. You'll notice how it's nice and thick, but it's not too thick. The whipped cream really helped it along. Now let's get it in glasses. We've got a couple glasses here. And we've got some cinnamon sticks in the glasses because I just think that adds a whole lot. Oh, we've sure. also got some fresh nutmeg here. So we're going to use what's called a microplane and we're going to, going to grate the nutmeg on top of the eggnog. It's not about taste, it's not only about taste, right? It's, it's all, about it's presentation. All about taste. <laughs> it's a little bit of presentation. All right, so here we go. So we're just going to pour this in here. There's one. Perfect. Two. I'm gonna take a little bit of nutmeg. Now I'm gonna just have one more surprise for you at the end. So let's just do the nutmeg here. So let's use a microplane there. Look how beautiful that is. See that? Oh, nice. That's that's actually what gives you that eggnog flavor. The cinnamon, the cloves, the eggnog, a little bit of booze, although it's not booze, but it's the actual flavor without the alcohol. So you got your can of butter in there. And now let's just make sure that people know or your guests know that there's cannabis in it. And we've got here a little garnish leaf. Got to mark go. it. So how, how much um, THC or CBD would you say is in each one of these drinks? Each one of these drinks is 15 milligrams. 15, okay. Yeah, if you remember, we had two tablespoons of the can of butter we put in it. That's right. Each one is 15 milligrams. So I dose my can of butter the way that I want to cook with it. So here we go. Let's uh, have a toast and enjoy it. And um, happy holidays, everybody. All right. Cheers. Cheers. From all of us at ETFMG, happy holidays and uh, be sure to follow Jeff the 420 Chef on Instagram as well as ETFMG on all your social platforms. Happy holidays everybody.